Hi, welcome to the Digital Yacht How To video series and in today's video what we're going to do is look at our NMEA display program which we developed uh, when uh, Microsoft stopped shipping Hyper Terminal with Windows Vista and Windows 7. We developed the NMEA display program to make it easy for technicians and uh, customers to fault find NMEA 0183 uh, problems on boats. So without further ado let's show you how to use it. So first of all you have to copy it to your PC. So if you click on the start button and assuming that you've already inserted the uh, one of our product CDs with this software on you go to the CD and then you just uh, click and drag the NMEA data display program folder across to your desktop. Now the good thing about this program it doesn't need any installation or setup. You literally just run this exe file. So it means you can pop it on a uh, pop pop this folder onto a, a USB memory stick, and then you can run it on any PC you connect the memory stick to straight from the memory stick. So I'm going to run the program now. So the first thing that the uh, NMEA display program does is ask you which COM port you've got data connected to. Now, if you're not sure what uh, COM port uh, Windows is allocated to your device, you can go into Device Manager straight from here, so just click this button. Now the Device Manager is um, basically it's a, a list, a database if you like, of all the components that make up your PC and what we're most interested in is the ports common LPT section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that little plus sign there and that enlarges the, the section and it shows us that we've got two COM ports on this particular PC, um, COM6 and COM7. It's these numbers that are most important because these are allocated by Windows as soon as you plug in a, a USB um, device that's uh, communicating via the, the serial port. And uh, so it will vary from PC to PC. So you might find on your PC it's going to be COM1, COM2, COM3, whatever. Um, but it's important that you make a note of these and know which COM port is which device. So I, I, I've already um, had a quick look at this and, uh, and I know that on COM6 I've got my AIS and on COM7 I've got my GPS. If you're in any doubt just unplug one of the devices. I'm going to unplug my uh, GPS and you'll see that one of the COM ports disappears. So I know now that the GPS is on COM7 and if I plug that back in it, it will appear again. So that's a good way of just checking which device is being allocated to which COM port. So once you know that information you can close the device manager and so I'm going to look at the AIS which is on COM6 first. So I as you can see there you've got the two COM ports there, so it's COM6 and AIS works at the high speed NMEA uh, board rate of 38,400 so I'm going to select that from the drop down list there and then I just select enter and immediately you can see I'm displaying the uh, AIS uh, messages there each one of these messages is, is coming from a, a different AIS target and uh, up the top here it's giving us the, the different types of, of uh, messages that they can uh, transmit and in here uh, is all the uh, data fields that each of these messages has so if, you, if you're, um, I'm just going to um, stop that now and I'm going to go back up to the settings and there we go, so that's gone to that, so that stops the, the uh, data being received um, if you want to know more about NMEA 0183 sentences and, and the format and what the data means then uh, the best thing to do is to have a look online if you google uh, NMEA 0183 sentences I'm sure you'll find lots of information online but basically a sentence could be transmitting I don't know depth information it could be transmitting GPS position um, there's lots of different sentences and they all start with if you look here um, they all start with either a dollar sign or an exclamation mark and the first two characters in this case AI which is short for AIS um, indicates what type of device they come from so if it was GP there it would be it's coming from a GPS if it was II it would be coming from a integrated instrument system and there's lots of different they're called talker ID is, is what the device that's talking on the bus is uh, what type of device it is the these three characters here VDM um, that is the actual enemy a sentence type so uh, you know, that, that could be DPT for depth it could be um, uh, G 
GGA for uh, GPS um, uh, position. Uh, there's lots of different ones, but if you look online, you'll find lots of information about these sentences if you want to know more. But for the time being, all we're interested in is are we receiving sentences, um, and that in most cases is, is all you need to know. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a look at a quick look at the GPS data on COM7. So click COM7. Now GPS data and instrument data normally comes at the normal 4800 board rate so we just leave that on 4800 we click enter and now you'll see that we're now getting the GPS data coming through and the GPS sentences up here are shown so that one that I was talking about GGA we can click on that and you can see in this window the different information that's coming through so we've got uh, for instance here um, what have we got um, well there's the lat long look, latitude longitude and that um, you know if we want to start uh, recording that say we want to, to log that data to see if there's a, a problem and analyze it later or send it to the manufacturer of the equipment we can click there and that's now logging the information to a, a file and if I click the stop button it will now say uh, give that log file a name so I'm going to call that test and that will then store that log file on there and I'm now going to close the program and you'll find that that uh, document that uh, log file that I created test.txt is there if I click on that you can see the information so again you know even if you don't understand what the sentences are you can store them and you can show them to somebody who does or send them to the manufacturer for, for clarity on uh, the for them to, to sort of see what's going on and work out if if, the, if you have a problem with the equipment. So that's uh, our NMEA display program. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video today and uh, that it's given you the confidence to go and explore NMEA 0183 data a little bit more. Thank you very much for, for watching. Goodbye.